Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Gothic Castle tutorial. This is part something. I have no clue, I don't remember. It's been a while since we've done a uh, Gothic Castle tutorial video. So, uh, today we are going to do this tower. Uh, as you can tell, I already made one because I already recorded this damn video. But uh, I guess I didn't record it because Bandicam was like, nope, not going to record for you. So we got to do it again. Yay. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to do this tower. <laughs> Last time we did. Uh, this room right here. I, oh wait, we did these. We did this right here, in the corner, and the crenellation stuff in the walkway. And I just went ahead and um, copy pasted uh, all of our sides, just so it's easier to see what we've done and what we need to do. So let's move on to this side right here, and we'll do our tower on this side. What we're gonna do is take some stone. And we're gonna start off by building the corners, and we want to do this right against the bottom stair piece of this roof. Put one in here as well. Here we go. And we're going to continue this down until it hits uh, this long roof. So uh, right there. So it should be one, two, three, four, five blocks. There we go. And we're going to build it up uh, 19 blocks high. So we already have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 10, 11, 12, 19. And this one as well. Same height. There we go. We can knock that off. We don't need that there. And this should be seven blocks wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So we're going to do seven blocks here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the eighth block will be our corner piece. And once again, do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Knock those off. There we go. Build these up to the same height. Okay. And this one as well. There we go. We can knock that off. So we don't need those. Then we're just going to build these whoop down until they hit the roof down here. So the same uh, height as this. Why is that there? That shouldn't be there. What? Ah. Huh. Well. That's strange. I guess I'm gonna co uh, I must have copy and pasted something wrong. Because that shouldn't... Oh, wait, no, that's fine. What am I talking about? That is fine. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting confused. I'm confusing myself here. That's fine. That's fine. I'm skipping ahead in my mind. All right. So, now we have our corners. Just like that. Next thing we're going to do is take some stone bricks. And we're going to fill in the uh, the inside. We're going to do it one block, one block to the inside. So, right here. Okay. All the way down. There we go, and we don't have to worry about uh, about this. Just um, oh wait, whoops. Just kind of uh, above this roof is what we really need to worry about on this side, because uh, we're gonna open this up anyway from the inside. So uh, let me go ahead and just fill in the walls real quick, uh, just completely, all the way down here, uh, and all the way up here. So give me one second, I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, so, so far you should look just like this. We have our corner uh, columns and then our inside. Just completely stone brick. If you're doing this in survival, um, you don't have to fill this whole wall in with bricks. Um, you can wait until we go through and do each section if you want to save on stone bricks. Uh, if you're in creative, I just find it easier to fill in the walls and then uh, take away stuff to add the details. Instead of having to go like layer by layer. It's just easier for me to remember. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's move down here. This is what I was getting confused on just a while ago. This space right here between the roof and the wall. Just fill this in with um, some spruce wood planks just along the bottom. Uh, same thing on this side. Uh, this one, the uh, stairs aren't all the way to the wall, so I'll go ahead and move those in. Uh, same thing on this side. So this roof up here 
Just continue the stairs until they hit the uh, stone bricks. Uh, hey, hey, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so what we're going to start on is we're going to come down here. And we're going to take some cobblestone and some cobblestone stairs. And we're going to count, uh, or we're going to just put a cobblestone block on the second block up on the uh, columns from, from this, this f front one right here. Uh, the same layer, replace, uh, or same, same row, replace the cobblestone right here, and then continue around. Do that one, and that one, and then connect these up with upside down uh, cobblestone stairs. Just like that. This will be the, uh, the f well, it's that, um, the bottom of the railing, I guess, for the uh, bottom balcony is what this is going to be. We don't have to worry about this one, of course, because there's a, there's a building in the way, or a room. <laughs> Next thing we're going to do, though, is uh, come up here, and we're going to start right here and put in these little square thingies that are kind of, they look like little windows, uh, and it just adds a bit uh, of detail. We're going to use some stone brick stairs for this. What we're going to do is start with this block right here, or these two actually, and this is um, well, one space away from the corner right here, so we have uh, one space right here, and then so we're going to put our blocks, and this is right above this is the second the top layer of stairs, if that makes sense. And then we're gonna, <laughs> it's hard to describe where it's at, but we're going to put down some stairs, so a regular stair and then an upside down stair facing away from the roof, and this creates our small window. So it's actually two stairs instead of like a space. We're sort of using the little quarter block on the stair to make a, a window. Same thing on this side. So these two and then there we go and up here we're going to do the same thing except we're going to add another set so we'll replace uh, these eight blocks so that four and that and, and those four and we're going to put down two regular and two upside down uh, of course facing away from the from the roof and the same thing on this side so now instead of one we have two now the they would have another one down here but of course the roof is is in the way so that's why we're doing that same thing over here we're just going to continue on the same layer or the same row way across so it's a lot easier to do it on the inside so let's jump in here and we're gonna do these as well so they're like right on top of each other so regular upside down regular and upside down just like that same thing on this side and then right here Boom. There we go. A little bit easier to get to. Oh, wait, I did these wrong. <laughs> Face away from the middle. There we go. And then this one. The reason we're facing away from the middle, by the way, is um, so that we don't have... this weirdness right here where we have uh, the stairs meeting the regular block and then a stair right here. It looks, it looks too uh, too plain in that area so that's the reason. If you're wondering, take these off and then do these and lastly these. Okay and then we gotta get out of here. <laughs> go up and over there we go now we're gonna come down here and we're gonna knock off one two three four five blocks right here in the middle uh, in between the two sides so we'll leave those there and do two rows three and four rows just like that okay and then uh, we'll leave this here because we're gonna have a railing go up here so this will be our flooring for our balcony and this is where we're going to put our door to go inside. What we're going to do though is put some stone down right along here so that we have our wall. We're going to add some depth to our tower. Boom, and we'll knock off these two for our door. There we go. Now we're going to add in our archway. We're going to count two blocks from the side. So one, two, two blocks up, and then 
right up here, the third block. So three blocks high, we're going to put our stair like that, and then another one right up. There we go. And then fill those in, and there's our archway. And repeat this on this side as well. So click, click, click. <laughs> fill this in. Of course, put your doorway in, and then boom, boom, and boom, boom. Fill those in. And for our railing, we're going to put down three upside down spruce wood stairs right here, and then three right here, and then face into the outside, away from the door, put an upside down stair. So that way, we have this sort of continuous backside, and then these little spaces, but on the inside, there's some opening. I just think it looks cool. I don't know. <laughs> uh, if we can put our doorway right there. And then, of course, do the same thing on this side. What we're going to do now is come up here to the top of our upside down stairs right here and we're going to put down oh, smooth stone slabs. We're going to put uh, double. So this entire layer we're going to replace with our double stone slabs. Okay, boom, all the way down. And then right on the corners, we're going to replace the stone block with a uh, with a chiseled quartz block. Okay, so let me go grab one of those. There we go. Grab my stone bag. I don't know why I've replaced that. Uh, here it is, right there. All the way around. So all four corners. All right, now up here, we're going to put down uh, spruce wood stairs. This is going to go right on the next layer up from the smooth stone slabs, just all the way across, connecting up the sides. Same thing as we did with the uh, the cobblestone stairs at the bottom. Okay, just like that. Now we're going to make another uh, doorway, archway thingy. So we're going to take off these. I'm going to go three high and then replace or take off this layer of stone bricks because this is our railing this time. Instead of being the floor like it was in the first one, this one is our railing and the stone slabs are our flooring. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to count three blocks on each side up one, two, and three for upside down stairs. And of course, another one. There we go. There we go. Now on this side, we're going to do the same kind of stone wall, but to add some variation, we're going to put three right here, and then the rest is going to be. Uh, stone. Boop, and then one for our doorway. Just like that, just to add some variation. Okay, let's do it again on this side. Okay, and take all of these off. What am I doing? What? Oh, yes. <laughs> Put on our stone. Cross, come back down, and we're going to put in our stairs. And fill the spaces in. And the same thing, of course, on that side and this side. So all four sides. Now, right above this, on the next layer, right, uh, right here, we're going to take off three, or we're going to have three holes in our wall. We're just going to skip. Uh, equally. So every every other space take off the stone bricks. So we'll have this, this, and this one. So it's stone brick, empty, stone brick, empty, stone brick, empty, stone brick. All the way around. Okay. <laughs> Kept messing up on that one, man. Alright, so that's it for that. Now at the very top we're going to replace this stone with a chiseled quartz block. Just like so. There we go. Now, let's move on to the roof. And for this, we're going to grab some wool. It's going to come over here. We don't need this couple of stairs anymore. Grab that. Uh, we'll need some of this and some of that. Okay, we're going to take our wool and we're going to put down a layer of five wool right here. Five and then six on top and two rows of three and then two just like so. 
Okay, all the way on all four sides. So here, here, boom. This one. There we go. Okay, now we're going to take some spruce wood planks. We're going to fill in the corners, like so. In the next layer out, we're going to put down two on either side of our wool, just like that. And then we're going to put one right here. And then one right on top, just like that. Okay, now we're going to do our overhang real quick. We're going to put down some spruce wood stairs on either side of the um, spruce wood right in the corner. Okay, all around. Next layer up, we're going to put down a plank. And then my, a stair. It's almost trying to call me. <laughs> There we go. And then we're going to put a plank once again. Trying to call me again. Damn it. <laughs> They're throwing me off my groove. Put down another stair <laughs> on top of the plank. Just like we did before. There we go. All right, and then a uh, plank right at the top. Okay, give me one sec to find out what the hell this person wants because they keep calling me. So, uh, give me one sec. All right, guys. So the next thing we want to do is we're gonna take uh, our stairs and continue this top layer down. Which we, I guess we could have done before <laughs> when I was doing the uh, spruce wood. I don't know why, but uh, there we go. Now we're going to go down to this layer right here, these two uh, planks, and we're going to put some stairs facing to the inside. All the way around. There we go. Then we're going to put down two planks right on the uh, other side of the stairs and one on top. Just like that. And then we're going to put another one on either side. Okay, so we should look just like this. And one right on top of that. So we have this uh, sort of ring all the way around the top. Okay, now on uh, each side, on these two, put down stairs facing towards the middle. All the way around. There we go, with a plank in the middle and a stair right on top. Now we're going to put nine planks just to fill in this big square like that and then a cross pattern right on top leaving the uh, corners free. Then four stairs on all the four corners. One plank and then another one right on top. There we go! Roof! BAM! <laughs> Next thing we're going to do is add in a plank Right on the corner piece at the very bottom. Okay, just like that. We're going to take some slabs and we're going to put them, there we go, on the very top, right up here. And that should be it. Now we can just go ahead and real quickly do our upside down stairs at the bottom. There we go. And right here. And here, is that the last side? Yes, okay. And then one slab right at the very top just to fill it in a bit. Okay, now we're going to add in a plank right on each roof right on the very end. So we have uh, slabs, plank, and, and plank. Just like so. And at the very top, we're going to put down cobblestone wall, three uh, fences, and then two on either side to make a cross. Okay, just like that. And then fence on top of each 
uh, roof point, I guess you could call it that, and then fence down here on top of the uh, chiseled quartz block. And that's it. That is your roof. Now for the inside, real quickly, uh, we can you can either fill it in with uh, glowstone like this, or sorry, a glowstone lamp, or uh, with black wool like that. Uh, I originally had it as black wool, uh, just to, uh, made it like an empty room that's uh, no light in there. But you can either have it like that or have a light, just so it lights up at night. So do either. You're just gonna come to the inside and fill in all the spaces with either lamps or black wool. Pretty simple, really. Let's just grab redstone lamp and a lever, and we're going to fill in. That, that, all the way around to cover up the spaces. There we go. And then levers. There we go. And that fills in that layer down here. We'll do the same thing on all the corners. Now, I didn't include these in my material count in the first uh, video because I had black wool. Uh, so this will be those instead. Actually, we can take that off. We'll need that. All right, and then put in your stuff. So here, it's anywhere. I like to snake it down. It looks cool. Boom, 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 boom. That's it, guys. Um, to do the inside, just put in your flooring. Just around whatever you want to choose, really. And just uh, connect up everything. Ta da! <laughs> and then put in your roof. Just uh, I like to put wood as a as a ceiling material. Okay. Let's come back outside at the uh, bottom one. Or actually, this one. Instead of just a flat ceiling, you could put down. Let's just fill in this wall real quick. You could put, uh, make it a taller ceiling. So we can put uh, planks in the corners. Take off these. Uh, put an upside down stair right up there. And then up here we'll put uh, A block on the stairs like that, and then we will do that. Oh, that. There we go. So it's a little. It looks a little bit taller than just a, a flat ceiling. And the same thing uh, down here. I think this one down here you'd have to uh, make it flat. Oh no, you can make it tall as well if you wanted to. The same same design. And that's it, guys, for the uh, for the tower. So hope you enjoyed. Um, next time we will do the crenellation stuff on the inside and the bottom piece and then move on to the courtyard area if we have time so if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like comment rating and subscribe and i will see you guys next time peace